Hello, and welcome back to Enterprise Architecture. Now, uh, if you heard the last episode, you probably already know that I had some trouble recording this session, and so my voiceover is being recorded after the fact, not live. Um, so this episode might sound a little bit weird, just as a disclaimer, but we're going to dive in anyway. So uh, for this session, it's going to be a little shorter than usual, um, but I really wanted to uh, get Refine Power Mark II up and online. Um, in the next episode. Um, but first I needed to get uh, Katerium production up and online. So for today, we're gonna go ahead and unlock Refined Power Mark II, but uh, the following episode is gonna be the one where we we'll actually start building out our factory for our solar plant. But gonna go ahead and unlock it right now first. Um, and I thought it would be a really quick setup to just get Katerium up and online. Uh, but it actually took me a little bit longer than I had expected it would. And the solar production also took me a little bit. So first things first for Caterium, um, we need to go get Caterium ore, uh, which I've already found and set up a miner, um, but we still need to produce the Caterium bars, which we can then use to produce quick wire. Um, and then quick wire can produce uh, a whole bunch of other things for us, including um, we'll be able to unlock using the zip line, which I've actually never used before. So I'm kind of curious about how it works. Now, I found uh, and set up this miner over here uh, a little ways away from our base and just ignore this giant platform in the sky. I had started to set us up with a uh, uh, bit of our mega factory that I want to build, um, but for right now I don't have enough resources and so that's a half abandoned experiment. So just ignore this giant block in the sky for right now. But I do want to set up a mini Caterium factory right over here, uh, floating next to it um, on this platform. Um, so I think I'm just going to run this out a little bit over top of this river here. And of course, the river also has some um, water nodes uh, for refined power, so we can use hydroelectric um, as a supplementary source of power for this factory as well. Again, we're not going to do that right now because we don't have all the resources we need for it but I do want to set this up um, temporarily as a, a, a quick wire factory right here. So before we can get to quick wire though, we have to build a couple of foundational pieces. First, we have to smelt the ore uh, into caterium bars or ingots. Um, and then uh, we'll need to turn those um, into quick wire. So it's a, it's a two step process here. Okay, so we're just framing out our basic factory right now, and oops, we still have our uh, power line stuck into the wall there. So we're gonna remove that actually and replace it with uh, a double outlet instead, uh, which we can't put in the same spot as the power pole. So we'll just pull the power pole out of the wall, connect it, the double-ended uh, connector back to the main, and then connect this over to our miner as well. And then, of course, uh, we'll bring uh, all of that caterium uh, in through the, uh, the side here. Um, and we'll put in a uh, wall with conveyor belt hole instead, just like that. Okay, now we just need to finish framing out our factory. Again, we're using the smart mod that lets us build real quick. Oops, I went four high, I should have only gone three high. Um, and that allows us with smart mod to mass build walls. Now what we have to do is bring our conveyor belt over, just like this, and over and in. If I can get it to line up properly, just like that. Okay, nice smooth curve there. And voila, perfect. and upgrading those to Mark II, uh, because we are producing 120 per minute, I believe. Okay, so now uh, we need to put in our smelters first and foremost, um, and that's just to melt down the ore and turn it into bars. Um, okay, I think, uh, well, I wanna place that a little further back. I wanna kinda stick it right in the middle, um, between, on the line between the two foundations, but also, uh, right between uh, the middle of those three uh, 
foundations wide that we have. Um, and note that I went and selected uh, Caterium ingots. And so when I'm using Smart Mod, um, when I click to build a, another smelter off of the previous one, um, it will, of course, uh, copy the settings. Also note that I'm only setting this one to uh, do 30 ingots, um, not uh, the full 45. Because again, we're only producing 120 off of our miner. So that does mean uh, that the first two smelters here are doing 45 each for 90. And then the last one, we underclock uh, to produce 30, which gives us our um, perfect balance. Um, and nothing will be uh, sitting around waiting for uh, additional resources. So there we have that one for 30, and that makes 120 altogether. And uh, of course, we do need to wire these up for power. Um, again, if you've seen me build the factories in the last couple of episodes, you'll see I'm using the same trick here where uh, I'm plunking down wall outlets and connecting two machines per wall outlet so they have this running cable, just like that. Okay, and now I have more than enough room for expansion as well if I need to move out uh, whenever we get the Mark II uh, production online. And now we just need to uh, run our output out. Um, so we connect our mergers for our output here uh, and line that up. Don't know why I'm doing this manually. Smart model do it for me, just like that. Oh, but once again, I have uh, not properly lined these up. Let's just redo that real fast. And also note that I'm downgrading these to Mark 1 because they're not producing more than 60 or taking in more than 60 uh, ingots. Um, so again, we don't need uh, anything faster than Mark 1 belts going into the machines or coming out of the machines. Okay, like I was saying, set up our output, just make sure that we line this up properly this time. Just like that. Oh, no, and then it moved at the last second. Yeah, there we go. Okay. And again, we're gonna run uh, Mark 1 belts here, and then we're gonna use Mark 2 for output because again, uh, we're only making 120 uh, ingots. Uh, now we just need to connect it to our output. Good, just like that. Now, uh, we just kind of need to hang out for a second uh, to get uh, enough Caterium off of this uh, production line to unlock the uh, next tier um, in the MAM, which will give us quick wire. So uh, we'll just pull out of the machines directly rather than setting up temporary storage. Uh, a few there, a few here. Um, still not quite enough though, so I think we just need to hang out for a few seconds uh, to pass the time until we have uh, enough there. I'm also gonna go ahead and set up our elevator. Again, if you've been watching this series, you know I love to use the elevator mod um, to be able to get to the second floor because we are gonna build our factory vertically here. Um, so we're gonna plunk down the elevator here right in front of the door just for uh, ease. Um, and uh, of course, that's gonna be 12 meters above the bottom floor because we are going three foundations high. Uh, we use no railings and turn the effects volume down. There we go. Now we just need to connect it up for power. And voila, here we are on the second floor of our new factory. So we throw down um, a new factory floor here using these foundations. Uh, oops, it doesn't look like we have a enough concrete right now, so let's go grab some of that real fast. Okay, uh, we have our concrete in hands now, so we can go ahead and finish running this floor out. Lovely elevator music to uh, listen to, just like that. And now we're gonna build out our uh, floor for our quick wire production. So again, same basic structure, three high walls on each side, 
Uh, we run these all the way down. We're using Smart Mod again. Um, that makes it really fast to put walls up. Way faster than the uh, zooping that is in Update 6. Um, oops, and I went a little too high again. Sometimes I get overly enthusiastic. And there we go. Um, we knock out our holes for uh, our conveyor belts to come through and also for our door. Let's put those conveyor walls in right here. Perfect. And there we go. We're ready to start laying out our factory. And we're just going to bring those straight up here. Um, now, I am going to want to uh, peel off um, our uh, storage um, so that we can uh, have a better place to stick these. So um, I'm also going to reroute uh, the output to the top of the bottom floor and then into the bottom of the top floor, right? Um, so in this way, uh, it'll give us a little bit more space uh, down at the bottom uh, for all of our uh, building and construction. Um, so yeah, we just need to do a conveyor lift here inside and that'll keep things nice and neat. And that way, uh, this isn't gonna run smack into our ramp where we uh, walk in and out over here on this side. Okay, so that's all wired up. And then the only thing that I think we need to do now um, is go ahead and um, set up uh, the next stage for our quick wire. So we're going to set up production here for our quick wire, um, and we're going to do that by sticking down our constructors, uh, again, pretty much in the same layout as our uh, smelters below. We want it right in the middle, um, and a half an offset over from the wall. So of course we can't start our quick wire production until we actually have uh, enough ingots to unlock quick wire. Um, we uh, haven't actually done that yet. So let's just grab up the resources we need for that. Um, and we need a place to, well, you know, we could go back to base and set up um, and use the MAM there, but I think I'm just gonna build a temporary MAM uh, right here. There we go. Um, quick wire uh, is unlocked. So we are gonna adjust the uh, output here uh, of our um, quick wire production because downstairs, as you may recall, we're turning three caterium ore into one ingot. Um, so 120 ore per minute become 40 caterium ingots per minute. And then one ingot uh, becomes five quick wire. So that means a total of 200 quick wire per minute. So 40 times five, 200. Um, that also means that we need to uh, step down uh, and underclock the production off of this last assembler um, because each of these take 12 caterium per minute. So that means the first three consume 36 and that leaves uh, four per minute for this last one, which translates to an output of 20 quick wire per minute. Again, getting us to that grand total of 200 quick wire per minute altogether. Now we just uh, set up our outputs.
and we only need uh, tier one conveyor belts for our outputs. And now we just can connect that up. Okay, I'm just making sure all of these are set up for quick wire. Yeah, there we go. I think I missed one uh, along the way. Now we know that for sure it's correct. Um, and now, of course, we need to wire this up before they will actually start producing. So we just run our cables down here, same as we did below. Just like that. And then we're going to uh, knock out the floor and just run our wire straight up. Uh, if we can select it, it's behind that conveyor belt, so we're gonna have to jump over here first. There we go, and we just bring our power line straight up. Put our floor back in place. And there we go. Everything should be connected, all green lights. That means we are producing quick wire. Okay, now we just need to connect up our output. First of all, uh, we need to find a spot to stick it here. I think uh, we'll just do it right out over this edge. Again, this is only a temporary storage location for now. Um, we're not going to be permanently placing our storage here. Eventually we'll clean all of this up. Um, and we're going to go ahead and throw down a storage container. Uh, Actually, you know what? We can go ahead and use our brand new industrial storage containers for the first time. Let's do that uh, because we're gonna be using a lot of quick wire. Okay, so we connect our uh, belt to the top here. And we just, uh, nope, not quite. Oh, it was going in the wrong direction. Right, we need to turn it the other direction. Okay, let's try that again. Okay, and we connect our Mark III belts up, like so, and in there, okay. And just clean up this little edge here, just like that. Perfect. And now we should have a uh, lot of quick wire coming in for us to uh, finish unlocking um, these next few items that we want to get. Uh, I don't think we're going to do the stun rebar right now, uh, but I'm definitely going to do the Caterium Electronics and the zip line. And uh, yeah, looks like we just about have enough. Let's just get rid of some stuff here. We don't need any of that. Um, and this is coming in really quick. Our production is super high. I think it's 200 per minute right now, um, which is a lot of quick wire and why we need those Mark III belts. So let's go ahead and take those out. Um, and we'll unlock Caterium Electronics, like so, and the zip line. And now we have Mark II power poles, which is the next thing we want to unlock here. Um, the AI limiter and the high-speed connector, which aren't useful on their own except for as components and other things. Um, such as the uh, power switch, which I love using on factories for easy connection and disconnection, um, as well as uh, the smart splitters, which are great for resource dumps. Um, so all of that's gonna come later, but we're not quite ready to set up production of factories for AI limiters or the high-speed connectors, but we do wanna get Mark II power poles. Now Mark II power poles aren't automatically gonna give us the Mark II wall connectors that I wanna use, um, but uh, we can unlock those uh, in the awesome shop after we buy the power poles to go with them. Okay, so I went and waited a few more seconds just to get enough quick wire to complete uh, the power poles. Okay, great. And those are now ready to go. We can use them. Okay, so with unlocked. all of our Caterium uh, various tree unlocked that we need for now, we're ready to start building our carbon factory, which we'll also use to create photovoltaic cells. Um, 
Those photovoltaic cells will then be the uh, pieces from refined power that we'll be using to replace our coal plant entirely. Um, we're going to go 100% solar here in the near future, but we can't do that until we're making solar cells. So for right now, I think this is a good place to stop this episode before next episode where we start building out our carbon plant. So thank you all again for joining us here on Enterprise Architecture, and we will see you back here next time. Bye, friends.